I'm Brendan Herger, I'm a data scientist for Capital One. Capital One is a finance company that's transitioning into being a tech company. We pride ourselves on the fact that our mobile apps are really amazing and we have a lot of ability to use our data and insights to help customers make better financial decisions and then support them when they need our help. Every time a Capital One card gets swiped, we capture that data and are running modeling on it. Same thing every time we get a credit card application or a home loan application or someone calls into a call center to let us know that something is going well or poorly. All of this gets captured and is stored and then on top of that data source we're sort of constantly looking for new opportunities to drive existing products or offer new products or just help the customer along in their journey. We really needed to address large data sets, uh, terabytes, and to be able to do it quickly and iterate through modeling very efficiently and this led us to H2O which is probably the best solution at the moment to be able to iterate very quickly on large data sets and produce meaningful models. So with H2O, we've been able to utilize more of our data and get the results earlier, whether it's building models that we didn't have the human hours and cycles to before that give us more accurate results. H2O just allows us to iterate more quickly. We've dealt with issues of vendor lock-in in the past, and it's not a great place to be because it doesn't allow rapid growth and innovation. So with H2O, even if we're not actively pursuing it, because H2O is building out a lot of the things that we need anyways, we always have the option of baking something in if it doesn't exist already. And on top of that, there's a level of trust. Every time I run an H2O model, I have faith that the thing that it says it's doing is actually being done. And if I needed to, I could then poke through all of the source code and actually see how the trees are being run or how the net is being run, which is pretty cool. We evaluated a large number of hard and soft metrics. H2O just scored really well with all of these areas, particularly relative to a lot of the machine learning frameworks that are available at the moment. The algorithms work well and are as accurate as anybody else's, but just work on much larger scales. And also, it's open source, which is a huge selling point for us. The fact that we can help grow a community, we actually host meetups fairly regularly, and we were starting to hold them actually across the nation to help the H2O community sort of grow and bring more people into the fold. During most of our demos, especially to execs, it's great to be able to pull up H2O flow and show, here's the data that we're working with, here's the algorithms that we're working with, and it's a very pretty interface to be able to go through a lot of information very quickly. It's a great solution because it is enterprise ready and it's designed to be enterprise ready. But also it can operate on very large data sets, it's distributed, and there's a decent choice of algorithms. It's still growing pretty quickly. But it's a great tool to communicate exactly what's going on and show what modeling is occurring to people who maybe aren't as used to seeing these sorts of things. In memory is obviously a lot faster than on disk and it allows us to iterate through models a lot more quickly. It's gone from run a model and go to lunch to run a model and oh it's done already. Which is nice to have. It's been a joy to be able to communicate this really new and exciting tool across Capital One to a lot of folks who have been searching for different solutions and haven't been quite happy and this is a new thing that we can bring to them and kind of help them understand is another feature. At the end of the day, really it's all about making the customers happy and doing a better job of the things that we're trying to. Universally, it's been a one-stop shop that just helps us do all of our modeling in one framework and get results that we want more quickly so that we can either reiterate and move to the next step or move on to the next project.